At the end of last year, I did a bike ride from the easternmost point of Spain, a place called Cat Cruz, all the way over to the westernmost point of Portugal and of mainland Europe, a place called Cabo de Roca. So this uh, ride took about three weeks to do, and probably my highlight of the entire ride was going to the very highest point in mainland Portugal, a place called Torre, which is about 2,000 meters above sea level. And one of the cool things about Torre is that there is actually a road that goes all the way to the top, so whether you're driving or cycling, you can get all the way there. So I actually started the day uh, having camped beside a reservoir somewhere by the border of uh, Portugal and Spain, about 65 kilometers east of the summit of Torre. And so I had actually quite a substantial ride before I actually even got to the base of the mountain, by which time it was about two in the afternoon, I could often only move for like a minute at a time because the road was so steep and because I had you know, this touring bike with loads of stuff like a tent and clothes and a laptop and things like that with me. So that's my excuse for uh, it taking me a long time to get up the hill. But as the day got later, of course, it got a bit colder and sort of as the sun was setting, uh, I sort of realized I hadn't actually seen a single other cyclist uh, the entire day on my way up the mountain. But it was pretty cool because when I got, and let's say it was like 8 o'clock, the sun was sort of going down and there were these like vast plains surrounded by granite monoliths and in the distance you could see like the twinkling of little towns and I had this entire place to myself. It was a pretty cool feeling just to, you know, be up there surrounded by nothingness and just to feel like the cold air and yeah. It was cool, I enjoyed it. So eventually I got to the top of Torre at about 10 at night, I think, after about eight hours of climbing or something like that. And I just had a quick look around. There's just a few like dome-like buildings up there. And there's actually a tower in the middle of a roundabout that represents the highest point in mainland Portugal. I think actually Torre is 1993 meters high. And uh, the tower they built is seven meters, so they they wanted to make it 2,000 meters. So I had a quick look around and then I just decided to find somewhere to camp. So I cycled down slightly and just set up my tent on some grass and had a had a cold night in the tent because this is actually one of the coldest places in the country too. I think they've recorded temperatures of about minus 25 degrees uh, Celsius there. When I woke up in the morning, there was like frost on the grass and um, frost on my tires as well. So to warm up, I took a little ride back to the top and admired the views again, or I suppose I admired them for the first time in daylight. There's loads of cool like granite uh, structures all about and uh, lots of big valleys that have been sort of carved by glaciers uh, long, a long, long time ago. So uh, yeah, I checked out all this, these nice views and then decided to uh, cycle down, unsurprisingly. If you are at the highest point of a the country, there's nowhere to go but down. So I had a nice like two hour sort of descent after that down to, down to somewhere else. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd share share what it's like to cycle to Torre. Uh, if you're ever in that part of Portugal or if you ever travel through Portugal, I think it'd definitely be worth, uh, if not cycling up there, you could always drive up there. Um, if you go to certain times in the year, um, or at certain times of the day, you might be lucky like I was and basically have the entire place to yourself. So yeah, if you're ever over there, maybe think about checking it out. If you have any questions about Torre or, or about my trip across Spain and Portugal, let me know. Thank you very much for watching.